There are few greater symbols of Martian technological supremacy than the MCRN's mighty Donager-class battleships. Larger and more advanced than any United Nations warship, the Donager-class serves not only as a highly formidable combat vessel, but also as a command and control ship for larger MCR battlegroups. The massive cost of constructing and commissioning a ship as large and sophisticated as the Donager-class has made the vessels a relatively rare sight, but the prevailing philosophy of the Martian Navy has always been that of fewer, better ships, in contrast to the United Nations' preference for overwhelming numbers. Most often seen at the head of MCRN flotillas, such as the Jupiter Fleet, the Donager class serves as much as a symbol of power as it does as a warship, effectively clearing regions of pirates and criminals by its presence alone, with most concluding that to even attempt criminal activity within range of a Donager class vessel would simply be suicidal. 500 metres in length with a dry weight of 250,000 tonnes, the Donager class is roughly the size of a 130 storey office building. The ship's space frame is long and angular, splitting at the aft to accommodate the vessel's four massive Epstein fusion engines, and the internal layout of the craft is designed for long periods at high G. The standard crew complement of a Donager class battleship is 2,086, including officers, enlisted personnel, Martian Marine Corps and flight crews for the vessel's embarked craft. In addition to the standard crew complement, some Donager class ships also carry a contingent of elite Martian recon marines, each equipped with a suit of Goliath class powered armour and arguably the most formidable infantry units in the solar system. The Donager class is extremely heavily armed, boasting four forward mounted torpedo tubes tubes compatible with both plasma and nuclear torpedoes, two high-yield Gauss railguns, each capable of accelerating a tungsten projectile through the entire bulk of a hostile ship, and an extensive array of point defence cannons. The battleship's PDCs cover every possible angle of attack, and can quickly create a curtain of fire to track and intercept any incoming torpedoes or small craft. The huge bulk of the Donager class affords the vessel sufficient internal space to house several smaller missile frigates or escort craft, further expanding upon the battleship's tactical value. The vessels most commonly assigned to Donager-class ships are MCR Corvette-class frigates. These ships are incredibly versatile, and often find use as torpedo bombers, marine boarding craft, and fleet escorts. By carrying these smaller vessels, the Donager class expands its mission profile to include fast attack and pursuit operations, adding to the ship's already formidable arsenal. The MCRN Donager, the first vessel of her class, was commanded by Captain Teresa Yao and served as the flagship of the entire Martian Navy. Assignment aboard the Donager was considered a tremendous privilege by MCRN personnel, and the ship's crew included many of the Martian Navy's best and brightest officers. Tragically, the MCRN Donager was lost with all hands in the months leading up to the Eros incident, when the ship came under attack by unidentified hostiles during a rescue operation. Even as newer Martian warship designs such as the Raptor-class fast attack cruiser were brought into service, the Donager-class remained a vital part of MCR naval operations, and even five years after the Eros incident, the class remained one of the largest and most advanced vessels in service, an ever-present reminder of the might and innovation of the Martian Congressional Republic. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. If there's a particular spacecraft you'd like to see looked at, let me know in the comments below and I'll get right on it.